And this year, 47 million people will travel home for Thanksgiving. Here with his thoughts on going home for the holiday is Pete Davidson. Hey, hello. Hey, Colin. What up? Hello, Pete. Now, you and I are both from Staten Island. Yes. And uh, do you plan on going home for Thanksgiving? No, I, I don't. Uh, it's not that I don't love my family. I, I do. But at this point, Thanksgiving dinner is just a bunch of old people asking me what Kate McKinnon is like. And I honestly don't know. She never talks to me. So. <laughs> Plus, I feel like my hometown doesn't really like me. So. Why wouldn't they like you? Everyone there is so nice. Well, of course, you'd say that. You're like the most popular person from there. This is how they write about Colin in our hometown newspaper, the Staten Island Advance. Colin Jost tees up. It's about three weeks till election, but you could never tell by Colin Jost's swing. And here's how they write about me. This is a review of a weekend update appearance I did. The best part about this one was his interaction <laughs> with Colin Jost. No, it's, it's seriously, it's, it's crazy. Like, look at the picture they use of you. Right? Now look at the picture they use of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you think they don't like you, Pete? I have no idea. I mean, if I had to guess, um, <laughs> it's maybe something I said in an interview once uh, that I wished that when Hurricane Sandy hit Staten Island, it had finished the job. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I I remember that. I remember that. No, maybe I did cross the line, but like uh, when a reporter from Staten Island wrote about it in the New York Post, here's what he said. Keep talking like that and you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's a death threat. In a newspaper. Who does that? What are you, the Zodiac? And then he said, try taking a cue from your fellow SNL cast member, Colin Jost. He's also way better looking than you. Well, I, I could see how what you said might make you more unpopular. Well, it was just a joke. A, a serious <laughs> joke. Like, you know, like when you're joking, but you mean it. Uh, <laughs> but I don't even feel that way anymore. I'd be just as happy if there were no hurricane and Staten Island just fell into the sea. Okay. <laughs> 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 No, seriously, no, if Staten Island... <laughs> no, if Staten Island is so desirable, then why is it free to get there? And... No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I know Staten Island isn't all heroin and racist cops, you know? It also has meth and racist firefighters. <laughs> I... I just want to say, what you're describing is not the Staten Island I know, Pete. Well, because they, they love you. You know, like, because you represent what they could be. You know, a kid who got out, he went to Harvard, and now, apparently, according to People Magazine, is the world's sexiest joke writer. <laughs> and look, the reason Staten Island hates me is because I represent what they are. You know, a mentally ill community college dropout <laughs> who got a Game of Thrones tattoo before watching the show. <laughs> Wolves look dope. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to know what's going no. on. But no, hey, congrats on that sexiest thing, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right, relax. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, relax. Let's be honest. The sexiest joke writer is a really specific category. <laughs> yeah, it's like being the world's smartest horse. <laughs> You're not going home for Thanksgiving. No, I am. Okay, maybe you're going to... <laughs> Pete Davidson, everyone.